I'm gonna start with well salted water. Well salted water means water that tastes like the sea. Yes, I know, it looks like I'm gonna put a lot in, but you're gonna need it to flavor the ingredients. And it's really not that much. You really have to take into account that the vegetables and the pasta are not really gonna absorb that much. So I'm gonna let it boil so that it's all dissolved. And I'm gonna take you over here to look at our ingredients. Just a few. Broccoli, probably about four or five cups. This will feed a family of four, although in my house it might feed fewer. Sun-dried tomatoes, pearl olives, and pasta. This is rigatoni, short rigatoni. It's only 10 ounces. So this truly is a healthy meal. It's really veggie-centric. When you're buying your broccoli, you always want to look for broccoli that has a little purplish cast to it, if possible. It's not that easy to find a really fresh broccoli that has that purplish cast, but that's what you want to look for. And you can also trim the stalks and put those in too. I wouldn't want to waste anything. I'm going to put some red pepper flakes. I like that heat. Granulated garlic, not fresh garlic, because granulated garlic has a more intense flavor and I want it to really disperse well throughout the dish. Great cheese, of course, and a really, really great olive oil. This is where your olive oil really matters. We are not gonna cook with this. We're going to finish with it only. So you really want a great, delicious olive oil. It's worth the investment. You buy it in a tin, it stays for a while on your counter uh, in a relatively dark space. First thing, I'm gonna put the broccoli in to the water and we're going to just blanch it slightly. And you'll see how beautiful this comes out because the color will come out and I am actually going to put all the broccoli in. My family likes the broccoli to be really crisp, so I'm not gonna really blanch it that long. You can see how beautiful and green the broccoli is turning. I always say we eat with our eyes first. So I'm just gonna blanch it for a little bit and I have a sieve and it's over a pot so I don't have to worry about messing everything up. And I'm also gonna use the same water for the pasta. You do not need to boil water twice. It's not gonna color your pasta green. We're just being more efficient in the kitchen. So I'm got myself a nice size slotted spoon and I'm gonna take the broccoli out now. Look at that really nice color. Just put it in here to cool down a bit. And I'm gonna use the exact same water for my pasta. Okay, so here I am with my 10 ounces of pasta. That's all we need is 10 ounces Pasta's not the demon. Everyone should really eat pasta. It makes you feel really good and it makes you feel full. And you don't have to use regular pasta. You can use wheat pasta or rice pasta. Just be aware of the cooking time for each. So I'm gonna dump this in the water and it's the same water, same salted water. And we're gonna come back once the pasta's ready to fish out. So the pasta's been cooking, is probably done by now. I just wanna go back a minute and say, well salted water is really critical. You might wanna taste it a little bit. If it tastes like the sea, it's done. Before I do anything, I'm gonna take some of the water out and I'm probably gonna use this to thin my sauce a little bit because pasta water is a really great thing. It's the starch kind of releases from the pasta. It'll help thicken your sauce or kind of bind it together. Take this to the sink and strain it. Harden all the steam. So I want you to take a look at 10 ounces of pasta. What started out looking pretty skimpy is actually a good amount. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is put everything back into my pot. The pasta, the broccoli, Put my sun-dried tomatoes in. This is really to your liking. My olives. Some people like to cut them up a little bit and you sure can. I like to zip this up a little bit with some red pepper flakes and that's always to taste. 
We don't want to blow anybody's head off. Granulated garlic, not powder. I like granulated garlic. That's also to taste. And then we're gonna give it a healthy douse of this lovely, fragrant, fruity olive oil. I'm gonna to toss that all together. And I'm gonna bring it over to this big bowl, I'm ready to plate. Serves a nice sized family. I'm going to top with cheese. And if you want to bind the sauce a little bit, I would say to put a little bit of the pasta water in when you're tossing all the ingredients in the pot. I kind of like to taste the flavor of the olive oil in a very strong, like olive oil forward way. So I kind of don't use much pasta water, but you certainly can if you want to put more cheese in. When you toss it, it'll kind of get creamier and shinier. Chef Diane Andrews again, showing you the final results of our cooking today. It's a really nice veggie forward pasta dish with fresh broccoli, sun-dried tomatoes, olive, garlic, a little bit of red pepper flake, and of course, finished with cheese and a really lovely olive oil. And thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you again.